In this video, I'm going to be giving you tips on how to shoot product review videos. Now, let's get this right. There isn't any right or wrong way to shooting a product review video. What I'm going to be saying here is not casting stone, but they are just my suggestions or my views or how probably I would go about making a product review video because like I said, it is not casting stone, but just stick with me and I will show you how I go about recording something as chaotic but as nice as this. This is a setup that I used to review a product recently, which is the Zeyun Cream 3 S Pro, which the boxes and everything are still here because I just finished recording that particular video before making this video to tell you exactly some of the things that I learned along the line. So let's see if we can do this um, within 15 minutes. So I have this. Okay, so let's get going. Let's see if we can finish this before this thing finish filling up. So first of all, to make a very entertaining product review video, what I would suggest is you need to make sure that you have watched or you have already researched to know what has been done along the line. Now, if you're in academia, take this like a literature review. What has been said already about the product? Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be on YouTube. Just get creative. You have to go on Google, find out some of the blog posts, what have people written about the topic, or let's say you go on even YouTube itself, find out who has made videos on it and what exactly has been said on that particular topic or on that particular product already. So just scout through the internet, go anywhere, find views, and sometimes you'll be amazed because some of the views or some of the positions you tend to take or some of the directions you tend to lean are positions that have already been taken by the manufacturers themselves or maybe the early product reviewers on YouTube or LinkedIn or any other social media platform out there. So just make it a point to research before you press the record button. The second thing you need to do is you now need to figure out how to get hold of the product before you even go ahead to do the review. Now to put this into perspective, with this particular video, the video I made on the Zeyun Crane S3 Pro, I didn't even buy this gimbal myself or let me say personally because we actually bought this for the studio and I just used the opportunity to pick it up and make or record a video on it. But if you go through my channel, you realize that I even have product reviews of the Canon C70 which personally I don't even own or I don't even know anyone living in my country who has one but I still do have a review on it. So that should tell you that sometimes it's not always about getting the product in your hands, but just get creative because all those review videos I've made on those particular cameras or those particular gadgets are actually reaction videos to the videos that have been released by the manufacturers talking about the product, or you can even react to the product launch itself. And that is a very unique niche that I've carved for myself in terms of being able to review products that I can't even afford or products that I haven't gotten hold of. Genius, right? Now, the next tip just before you press the record button is to structure your video. Now, I know this is just, I mean, a product video, but just take a look at the kind of storytelling I did with the original video that I made on this particular gimbal. Hello guys, I'm excited to see your beautiful faces once again right here on the Africa Amaze channel. As you can see, my table is inundated with stuff, but how did I get to this point? Let's rewind back. I get so excited when I carry a very huge package like this. So just as you saw, I could have just gone ahead to just start the video with hello, hi, welcome, and the usual, you know, generic start to YouTube videos. But I decided to play it the other way around. I started from the middle of the video and walked my way back. And that for me kind of added another whole new aesthetic value to the whole process. It adds some form of quality and it makes you stand out from the crowd because remember once you are reviewing a product there's a high chance that there are more other people or there are other people out there who have also reviewed the same product so 
we really need to see your uniqueness or we really need to see your personality shining so that you can have a reason why we should click on your video or watch your video against the other videos. In my case, I even made a video on this particular gimbal which bigger YouTubers like Potato Jet and other people have made reviews on this. So I have to even give you extra reasons why you should be watching my video in the first place instead of watching someone, let's say Potato Jet, who is a very big YouTuber and has more audience and influence. So if you have done your research, gotten the product at hand and structured how you're going to tell the story, then congratulations, you are ready to press the record button. But Again, just make sure to go through, make sure all your camera settings are right. And you also need to figure out one very important thing. Are you just going to record from one angle, just like I'm doing, which is very limited because as you can see, trust me, you can hardly see what is on this table. Or you actually want to add an angle like this from the top so that people will be able to see exactly how the gimbal looks like exactly from the top. This is something that you actually need to figure out. And from me or from my experience, what I would suggest is that make sure to have another camera at the top, which can give you the top down view. And by adding this component, especially if you have um, the physical product with you, would take the video quality to the next level. Now, if you want me to make another video talking about or showing you how to do top down videos, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make another separate video showing you very cheap and DIY ways to make um, or to create a top down view. I know sometimes trying to get your camera to those kind of positions can really, you need very expensive kind of tripods and things to be able to rig such cameras. But trust me on the Africa Amaze channel right here, I always have cheaper and always backdoor alternatives to get things done in a very cheap way. And this angle you are looking at right now, you'll be amazed to see how I'm able to get this particular angle, as you can see from the top. So just add those kind of little things and your product videos will actually stand out from other people. And the last component of this particular video is by making sure you are in focus. For example, I am at more risk as I'm speaking right now because I'm actually recording this video on a Panasonic G7 and this particular camera doesn't even have autofocus or even if it has, I will never trust it because tap to focus or let's say focus and change it to manual, that is what I do. I use the autofocus to nail down the focus and now I change it back to the manual or sometimes I just leave it at manual and I zoom in, you know, get all the focus right before I come into set. Just imagine that is really very dangerous because sometimes, or there are so many occasions where I do record a video like that, go back and check and it is out of focus. So guys, make sure that if you want to do product reviews, I do suggest within this particular, this is really a little bit controversial, but I do suggest that you get, let's say, a Sony camera or a Canon camera. Let's face it, Panasonic is not in the autofocusing game, at least for now, because, I mean, they are making strides, don't get me wrong, but autofocusing is not really uh, a par with what Sony and uh, Canon are doing with their cameras. So if you really want to do proper uh, product reviews where you can even point the product to the lens and all that, um, then probably consider looking into Sony or Canon cameras because the dual pixel to focusing system and all those other focusing systems within the, the Sony and um, the Canon ecosystem is really very unbeatable when it comes to the focusing sector or when it comes to that particular angle. So with this, you are ready to press the record button. Press the record button, record your video and make sure to address your audience right on looking to the camera and make sure to address the issue and make sure to relate with the product so that it doesn't look like um, you are detached from the product. Let's see some relationship with you and the product because YouTube now is so competitive that once you are a robot or you are copying someone, your audience tend to notice it very quickly. So you have to be yourself. You really need to be real in the whole process of making review videos. Thank you so much for watching. And like I said, all the ideas shared in this video are not casting soon. These are just my personal views and 
I just thought like sharing this to help you guys out there. But if these tips have been helpful for you or to you, please do much do me a favor by clicking on the subscribe button or please click on the like button of this video so that the YouTube algorithm will shower their blessings on this video. If you're new here, we talk about cinematography, photography, editing, and all its related branches. If this sounds interesting, please kindly click on the subscribe button and make sure to click on the notification icon so that you get notified anytime we drop awesome content like this on this channel. And like we do it as always on the Africa Base channel, guys. Until next time, keep practicing. Feel thank you. Peace out. I know we did this under 50 minutes. Congratulations to myself.